Hello everyone, welcome back for part number five. So this part, we are going to look at how to, okay, um, add additional V components, okay, it's actually the page into, um, I would say we can add more than one, right? So many components and pages into the applications, okay? Since I'm going to add the new components and it's going to give me many other messages for a local setup here, so that's why I stop my instant first and after I complete typing things, then I'm going to start it up later. All right, so in, to introduce the new component here, um, if you work with playground, then you can simply do this. You can actually go to the components, select this, add. For example, if you want to add um, detail page, so you say detail page, like this. Okay, so we are going to do the same thing here in my local setup. So go ahead and <coughs> put add new file. I have to do this manually, so I put detail page.v. Now I'm gonna have, to, this is the good time to review yourself about the minimal structure, right? So go ahead and put the first section, which is template. Second section is the style, so put style. And the third section is one in between, so I put script. Okay, so as you can see now, I got my detail page components with the uh, minimal structure. So now we're gonna put because this is going to be my second page. So we put page All right, and we also need to have action bar. So action bar title equal to um, Detail Let's say food detail and we have class for action bar and then close this tag right here and we also have stack layout stack layout stack layout okay cool and um, now we're gonna show this is second page now to show you how to actually have from one page to the other this is what's gonna happen so this is my second page right so we go to the first one and um, over here, each time user click on the item, I want to open the new page with the detail for that particular food. So I come here, instead of just alert these information, I can actually use, say, open detail page. Now, how can I open detail page in uh, native script V here? So we use the command this dot dollar size now we get two and it's the command function call now there are two things that you have to put it there the first one is basically the object of the second component here how do we get the second object well you have to import into your uh, script so for example if you want to open um, second page third page and fourth one from these components, you have to import them all into um, this component. So to in order to import it, easy. We say import, and then I'm going to use the na name of the object as the name of the file directly. So for easiness, so it's going to be detail page, and from then we put double quote or single quote here. Now you you have to look at this. See. First, you need to know that this file is located in the component folder. So the component folder is the active directly for these components. Now, if you want to import another file on the same um, directly here, okay, so what you need to do is you just have to say on this directly, put the dot, then put slash. And as soon as you put slash, it's going to show detail page. Now, if you have more than one of this, it's going to list everything, okay, except this component itself, list everything right here, so you can just click on it, okay? Now, once you have imported this, you can copy this and put it in here. So this is how you open another page. We can, we just 
you know, we do not put the text of it. We actually put the object itself. So this variable will be the representation for these components from the import perspective. And you can navigate to the component name directly. Now the second input parameter is going to be, for now, we are not using any passing data. So we put just empty bracket like this. So let me save for this and restart my instance with the server communication with the application here. Okay, so just to review what we did, we actually take a look at how to create the new components. Okay, this is our, our second component here without any data sections and anything else. We also tell you how to um, import that components into this component so that I can refer to it. Okay, without this import, I cannot refer to this component at all. And this is the command that uh, is used to open another component. So the first information that you have to put is the component um, object. And this is the empty one. We are not using it right now. All right. So now if I click over each item, you can see that now it's go over to another page. I can come back to the previous one, click it again come back, click it again. Okay, so this is how you navigate to the second page. But now the problem is, okay, I just don't want to just open it up like this. I want to also see details of that food information right here. So that means you have to pass that object information to the second one. How do we do this? Well, um, first, we have to introduce what we call properties. Okay, to the second components we call props. So go ahead and go to detail page here. And um, inside these sections, you have to introduce props. And that prop is the uh, just the variable sections that we introduce the name of the passing variable. Let's call, how about if I call it um, food? Okay, food. All right, so that's gonna be the food thing. And what, it, well, for easiness, let's just put item, item, okay, item. So now we have a way to tell that, okay, the item will be here. So whenever you want to pass the whole object of the food item here, you just say, hey, I want to pass uh, the props. I think it have S, okay? If this is not the case, we can fix it later. And the prop itself is an object that have the key equal to the item. Now, when you work with component here, we say that, okay, we have the properties that you just created for this component. We say that, okay, from now on, I just perform magic. This component will have the property names item. Now, that means you can refer to these properties by passing item. Now, if you can pass, you can pass the whole object. So let me pass event.item because we know that this item is going to hold an object like this. Okay, and that object will be passed as the name of the item. And that will be passed through the second page. And this pick it up. So that, okay, look at this. So this guy will be passed under the key item. And since detail page have the property name item so you can pick this up and how do we display this well so we can use label for this matter so let's put label uh, text equal to and now we're going to do the data binding as well because it's a variable it's not a static text so that's why i put double um, colon that colon here and uh, we can refer to the property by saying dollar side props dot the key which is item dot now you can refer to the information itself like price well let's put name first and copy this down and let's put price as the second information now one more time what happened um, look at this. We say that open the second page, please, and pass objects. This object, the whole one, is time you click on it. Okay, that object can be accessed under the key item. All right. So that's why in the second page you choose construct 
the pop with the key item here. I mean, you can have more than one key, like item, item two, item three, whatever. Okay, but this is the one that we use. And now, whenever you want to use this passing data in these components, you refer to dollar sign props with s, and now you refer to the key. For example, item. All right. And now let me test to see if this is working. So I click on each item. As you can see, it show me the information as well. What I need to do is just to introduce the styling here. So let me copy this styling from this page. So how about if I use just like item. So we're going to put styling here. And now each one we have class item class item okay and it should show okay class item item margin font size let's let's put a big bigger font size like 50 now back to this and click on it as you can see now it show the update version I got full detail um, I mean you can make it more beautiful later on okay this is just the, to show you the mechanics and proof of concept again if you wonder can I change this instead of item can I do it with some other things yes you can for example if you no longer want item you can see the key is no longer item can I use food yeah you can but you have to come to your second component and change that this is going to be food as well so this will become food and this will become food and this will become food so that is going to do the same thing okay oops um, okay I might have to change this this might have yeah I think I have to restart the instant one more time okay so this is the basic idea. I mean, if you have difficult time naming your property name or key here, normally I look at, okay, what is the abstraction for this business entity? And then I put that as the key. And this is actually the object that pass to a uh, pass with this key. You can pick it up using um, dollar sign props dot food. Now it's become food, right? So, and the name of information. Right, hopefully it's now watching file. All right, so let me. Okay, we started this. Here we go, and we should be able to click over here, and here we go. We got the data. Now, what is next? I'm I'm going to also show you how to put picture. Okay, as the detail. So first, we have to go find out the food that we like. So go ahead and put food. Like I mean, it's Thailand, huh? So Thai food. So let me call. Okay, we might have some picture, a particular picture. Okay. Okay, and this is actually let me copy image address and test to see if this is an actual address or not. Okay, cool. Here we go. So that's the actual address. So let me copy one of this and then put it in inside my collection. So back to my script here. Um, inside the data collection, now I can add additional um, information called pick. And it's going to be a URL. So I think this might be a little bit long, but you know. Okay, so. For now, that's the first picture. Now let's go get the second picture. Uh, what would you like? How about this? Okay, so I'm going to copy image address. Okay, this is the one. So let me copy this and come back to the script. So now we got another. Okay, sick. Another picture. Let me go get one more. So now I'm going to go to um, Thai Desert and with the image. 
Then how about if I have sticky rice? Okay. Now look at the picture. So this is going to be my picture for sticky rice. Yeah, here we go. So that's the um, URL. So back to our locations. So it's going to be pick like this. So now as you can see that uh, our objects now have additional information and additional information which is pick. We want to use this in the detail page. How do we do this? Well, you go back to your second component here. This component will write down food name price, but start with the picture first. Um, we know that for HTML, you can use img tag to represent picture. But for native script, uh, I do believe we call image. So if I click yes, so this is how you assign the picture. Okay, img src. And all right, so go ahead and we are going to put this together. So back to our script. Now we're going to put at the top, so we're going to have image source equal to, we're going to have it as props dot food dot pick. That's my picture. And this is variable binding, right? So you have to put colon. If you have static text here, you don't need to put colon. Okay, that's the mat. All right, so let's save for this. And why don't we put label as well? Um, label uh, text food detail. And since this is uh, the title should be big, so I'm going to say um, title class with the margin equal to 20. Font size is a little bit big. Let's put um, how about 60. And turn all of this back to 30. This might be too big. Okay. And now we put title for this class. As you can see now that uh, I did not put colon here is because this label is static, it's not coming from variable. Okay, so that's why you don't need colon. Save for this. And now let's take a look at our emulators. Hopefully, we got the pictures. And we got food as well. Now, if you want to introduce margins, you can. But let me finish this. So food, as you can see, all of them have having the same width and height. Even though, as you can see, originally the size are not different, are not the same. It's different, right? That's because native script automatically does this for us. Now, the only thing left is we have to put margin. So let's go ahead and put margin. So let's put margin for picture. Um, so let's put inside this second component here. I introduce um, pick. So let's put margin equal to 10. All right. And let's introduce that to this. So class equal to pick. All right, so now let me click over item. As you can see now, we got the margin as well, like this. Okay, cool. Um, this is all for this video tutorial. Just to make a quick review, we show you how to pass data from one page to the others and show you how to add pictures as well. Okay, in the next video tutorial, we are going to talk about how do we add additional data to the collection object, for example, you might want to put like a food review, okay, like bad, good, or um, number of star for this. So inside your home component here, you might want to add additional information here, okay. We talk about that later. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.